I'm Jeffrey Zekarian, and as you can see, I am at home in my kitchen where my, me and my family cook all our meals. I'm so excited that you're joining us today. We are gonna make devilish egg salad. This recipe is sort of an amped up version of your traditional egg salad. We're gonna give it some more flavor with the addition of a few not so secret ingredients that you already have in your pantry. Very easy, very simple, and I, I promise you, you'll never make egg salad the same way again, nor will you cook eggs the same way. So, first of all, very important, before we begin, you had some homework. You should have brought a pot of water to boil. There's a lot of myths about how to boil an egg. This is how I've been boiling eggs my entire career. You have boiling water, you have eggs, preferably room temperature eggs, but it doesn't really matter. You just take them out a little bit before. And I like to put them like this on a spider simply because I don't want to crack them and I don't want to get my hands in that hot water. If I wanted to soft boil these eggs, I would set a timer for exactly six minutes, but we need hard boiled eggs. So we're going to make it a simmer, 12 minutes, why are we doing it this way? A lot of people cover it, boil it, and then take it off. I like this method. You never get that green circle of sulfur that comes from a chemical reaction when you put them in cold water. So I always put them in boiling water. It's always worked for me. Now, while that is boiling, we're gonna get to our sauce. Okay, devilish eggs, what does that mean? We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna put some mayonnaise, which you have in your pantry, some mustard. Now, I there are exact recipe amounts, but if you like a little more mustard, add more mustard. If you like a little, little more pickle flavor, add some more pickles. I like mustard, I'm a mustard nut. So, some sweet relish, again, right from the pantry. Here's one of the things I love, sriracha. Oh, be careful with that, unless you like it really spicy. Some Worcestershire sauce, delicious. And a little red wine vinegar. A little bit of smoked paprika. You could add red chili powder or crushed red pepper ground if you'd like. And one of my favorite seasoning, seasonings in the world, celery salt. I love celery salt. I use this on my roast chickens, but in this, it's a real delicious addition. Okay, maybe a teaspoon of yeast or a little bit more if you like it. So we are gonna put this together just like that. Very simple. Now we're gonna add some vegetables. Celery is one of the most important things. So what I've done is I've taken the stalks. I, ha I haven't peeled them. I'm too lazy to do that. I've just taken the inside. I like the inside. I'm going to discard that. And I put it down on a board, and I go straight through it like that. And then if you can do it again, it just makes it very easy for you to dice. The celery really gives it this crunch that every egg salad should have. We're also chopping up the leaves. The leaves have tons of flavor. Okay, we're gonna add that. Really important to have all your ingredients, mise en place, ready before you start cooking. If you wanna cook like a professional chef, we have everything ready. We don't go scurrying and running around the kitchen. You notice I have everything in front of me. That's really important. Last minute Larry, as I say, doesn't work because you get frustrated and then something burns or overcooks or you forget and it just makes it not a fun experience. So I'm gonna add some of this, the green part of the scallion. Also, a lot of people throw this away, like they cut too much down of this. This is where all the flavor is. So as I said, you can always make it to your taste. All right, and then red bell pepper, yellow bell pepper. Remember, green, red, and yellow, it's all the same pepper. It's just a different maturity. The green is immature, then it turns red, then yellow. I'm gonna take this off. Um, that looks about enough. Save this. I save this actually for my pet hamster, Bopper. He loves pepper. Simple dice, I just took the petals off. You don't have to be exact. This is gonna be for sort of a salad or a sandwich. Today we're gonna make it into a salad. We're gonna put it in beautiful lettuce cups. All right, just like this. This looks so good. I mean, just think of that on a sandwich or in a salad. Everything is so fresh. We're gonna put this all together and then we're gonna add some salt and pepper. 
give it a good grind of pepper. That looks great. I'm gonna add a touch more mayo. A lot of egg salads, you make them, they get very watery. You're gonna see that at first it's gonna start off dry, but when it sits in the refrigerator for about an hour, it sort of like gets a bit more wet. It sounds funny, but it is. And a lot of people make the mistake of way over, over mayonnaising their egg salad. So, how many taste it to make sure it has enough oomph into it? It's oomphy. Eggs are cooking, not quite ready. Press pause. When we come back, the eggs are gonna be ready. I'm gonna show you how to peel them and another little hack that you're gonna love. Okay, it's been 12 minutes. Our perfect eggs are ready, hard boiled. We're gonna shut them off. We're gonna take them over to the sink and we're gonna run cold water on top of them. And what this does is it allows me to put my hand in there so I don't burn myself, A, and B, this way I have found is one of the best ways to immediately peel your eggs so they're completely peeled. So when the water is cold, you're gonna go in there, we're gonna start the process. So you're gonna take the egg and crack it on the end, on the other end, and you're gonna roll it like a steamroller. And then the peel slips off very easily. Okay? So we're gonna repeat that with all these eggs. And if you do it this way now, you'll have fun with your eggs instead of frustration when they're too cold or they've been in the fridge. Now, had I taken the eggs off at six minutes, we'd had a perfect soft boiled egg. I've been doing this forever. I've told everyone how to do this. Even my mother-in-law now does it like this. You'll notice that there's not that green ring around the inside, which is caused by sulfur escaping and getting trapped by the, by the cold water chemical process. There's no reason to cook an egg over 12, 13 minutes because it just gets rubbery. And I'm actually gonna show you one. I'm gonna cut one open and show you in a second until I'm all done. There's a little air pocket under the egg on the top that makes this method work. You can see how easy it is. It just, even without the water, it just pops right out. So let me shut the water off and then show you on the inside, if you get a close up here, you can see how perfect that is. There's no ring here that's green. It's white to the yolk and that's what you want. Now, I don't chop up eggs on a board. It's too much work. So what we're gonna do is use clean scissors to chop these eggs. And I just go in and cut them in half. I don't like a real pureed egg salad. I like to have some texture to it. So I'm gonna go in and then I'm gonna cut them in quarters with the scissors. And you can cut them more if you want, but you'll see when you add the sauce, they're gonna break up and get sort of emulsified. So just like that. Just get a few more seconds here. So that didn't take long, you see? And then we're gonna add our mayonnaise mixture to this. Now, what do we do? We're not gonna add all of this because we don't know the moisture content of the eggs yet. We don't know how, how much this is. We think it's perfect, but I wanna show you when I think perfect really occurs. So again, I'm gonna salt and pepper the eggs. They're asking for salt. Some fresh ground pepper. And then we're gonna add some of this mixture to that. Let's see how that looks right there. So as you can see, I'm using a fork, a large fork, and I'm just beating, pressing some of the big pieces, much like I would do if I was making guacamole. The same sort of methodology. This looks almost there. It looks a little dry, so I wanna add a little bit more of this. This is good. So this is a really delicious, spicy, devilish egg salad. And I'm gonna serve it up today on beautiful radicchio cups because I think that you don't always have to have a sandwich. You can always have a nice little salad. So I'm just gonna put it here like this. But if you wanna put it on French baguette, grilled sourdough or toasted Italian bread, whatever you want, uh, help yourself. And what I like to do is bring it to the table just like that 
and put a little gorgeous fresh herb, preferably cilantro on top of each one. And I have some basil here also. Yum. The radicchio is such a perfect taste because it's a little peppery. I taste everything in balance. The mustard, the relish, the mayonnaise, that pop of celery salt is really amazing and adds to the crunchy celery. Team texture right here.